What is going on guys? Welcome to a brand new video. Today we're going to be checking out UWP Streamer for the Xbox One. What is UWP Streamer you may be asking? Well, we're going to answer that very soon, but it has to do with these two devices. Possibly, you might be able to play this on this. UDP Streamer is an application for the Xbox One that allows you to stream your 3DS through NTR custom firmware to your Xbox One. How cool is that? You don't actually have to use your computer to do this anymore because, well, thanks to Paul DiCarlo, we can now do this on our Xbox One. And it's really cool because we can also use the Xbox One controller on it thanks to the input redirection on your 3DS. The cool thing about playing on your Xbox One is you can stream straight from your Xbox One. So you could stream your 3DS through your Xbox One, and we're gonna test and see just what the latency is like on the Xbox One, see if it's actually playable. So, when you first start UWP Streamer, you're presented with some of the same options you get with KitKat on the PC or just the NTR debugger. So you need to start off by putting your IP address into the IP address box. And when you do enter your IP address, just press the B button to get back out of the text box so you can continue down to the other options. Your screen priority, it, well, Obviously, it's going to either prioritize frame rate wise the top or the bottom screen. Now, sometimes you might want to prioritize the bottom screen if you're playing something like Tomodachi Life, so that is important. Priority factor, we're just going to leave it to one. Uh, qual image quality is normally set at like 70 on UWP Streamer, but I set mine to 85 because that's kind of the sweet spot I found between quality and frame rate. QoS value is normally 15, but I set mine to 101 because if you have a good wireless network, you can actually set it to 101 to unlock it and basically get the best possible uh, quality on, for, on your wireless network. And then we are going to want it to auto connect, and we're just going to hit connect. See if we can get connected up to our 3DS here. Sometimes it can take a couple of tries. Sometimes NTR likes to be a little pain in the butt, and uh, you might have to restart your 3DS um, like I've had to do a couple times. So if you do have problems with this application, just restart your 3DS and your Xbox One, go get your 3DS set back up, and then start the UWP streaming app again. You should be locked and loaded, you guys. But here we are, finally got the UWP streaming app going on the 3DS. Now I did notice there is one downside to this, and that's if you want to play a game that turns the Wi-Fi off like Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time 3D. There's currently no option to be able to send the little commands to NTR to keep the Wi-Fi active. Otherwise, it's gonna shut off the streaming. So, games like Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time don't work. Okay, you guys, we're gonna start off the Legend of Zelda Majora's Mask, because that's a game that does work, and that's a game that would be pretty cool to play. Now, the audio does not stream through to the Xbox One, so you are gonna have to just ramp up your freaking 3DS speakers if you wanna do this. You can change the display modes, which is really cool. I like this. It just, it's beautiful, man. How do we get off of the three dots so that we can actually functionally use this controller all the way. Everything else works great. All the buttons work fantastic. Uh, oh, there we go. If we press the R trigger, we get away from the whole entire menu. Perfect! I'm able to fully functionally play Legend of Zelda Majora's Mask right now on my Xbox One, you guys. This is freaking radical. I'm literally playing Legend of Zelda Majora's Mask on my Xbox One right now. This is insane. And it's beautiful, you guys. It's beautiful. It's glorious being able to do this. Now, there isn't no, there isn't any C-Stick support. There's no 3DS button support. So if you're hoping for that, well, you're kind of out of luck. And there is still some delay to the 3DS to the Xbox One. But I'm sitting here playing it just fine right now, fluently as can be and I don't have any problem with it, you guys. It's honestly, it works great. Now, games like Super Smash Brothers, 
that might be a little harder to play, or maybe even Mario Kart. Um, because there is, like, it's, it's a delay and it's noticeable, it really is, but for something like Majora's Mask, I could play this with that delay. You know, the delay feels pretty similar to freaking if you play, if you played an NES, if you've ever played, like, an old classic video game system on an HDTV and you notice that kind of lag, that's kind of the same amount of lag that is being experienced right here. So I'm going to hit the uh, mask because I have the 3DS right here in front of me. Some games you won't even need the touchscreen, so you can play entirely on the Xbox One. Like Super Mario 3D Land, you can generally play that entire game on the freaking Xbox One. So if you guys want to download this application for your Xbox One, just go to the Windows Store on your Xbox One and just look up UWP Streamer. You'll find it right then and there. You just have to get NTR set up on your 3DS, which isn't that hard if you already have custom firmware. And then if you want to use the actual input redirection, you're going to need the input redirection CIA, which I will also put a link in the description for NTR and that input redirection CIA. So if you guys will have everything you need to get going and playing 3DS on your Xbox One. Now, like I said, this can be coupled with streaming. So if you know how to stream on your Xbox One, look at this. You have it right there available on your Xbox One. Freaking tear it up. Uh, go live stream if maybe you don't have the best computer and you can't do this kind of stuff on your computer. Well, now you can do it on your Xbox One. Anyways, guys, I really hope you enjoyed this video. Thanks, Paul DiCarlo, for making this incredible application. It's super appreciated for the community. The more people that can get into live streaming with the 3DS without a capture card, the more people that can get into the 3DS modding scene and can help that scene grow. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please like it up, subscribe it up, and I'll catch all of you guys future videos and live streams. Peace out, crew, and add me on Xbox One if you guys want to. Our gamer tag is Mexicougar. Play some Battlefield 1, some Battlefield 4, tear it up all the time, you guys. Definitely join it up.